hello friends welcome back to our channel so in today's session we'll see a one more type of prompt or rather we can say combining all the prompts which we have seen so far so that is a well structured prompt so in our previous sessions we have seen a different kinds of prompts in that we have seen the constraint based prompts input based prompts uh, as well as output based prompts role based prompts and also instruction based so we are combining all these uh, types of prompts and we are using one prompt called as a well structured prompt so without delay let us start so first we know what is a prompt so a prompt is a instruction given to the ai model okay so to to get the task so a prompt is an instruction or an input uh, you give to an ai model to get a specific output it is like uh, asking a well crafted question or giving the directions so because uh, based upon the quality of your prompt the quality of the result will be right so how clarity you are giving the prompt that much quality will be getting the output yes so that's why the structure of a very good prompt so a prompt is completely different with a good prompt so because we have said that this generative ai is it is a chat based so once we are giving one instruction we'll be getting some output and we are fine tuning it that means again we are giving some more instructions to get the optimized output so in order to avoid such trial and errors so if we give a good prompt automatically we'll be getting the perfect output and optimized output so that prompt we are calling it as a well structured prompt so this is a well structured prompt okay so what it includes so first one role so we need to specify the role so which the ai model should act right that is the most important for well structured prompt so tell the model who it is or what role it should take so according to that perspective the ai model will generate the output so for example if you want to explain some concepts in python so you can give the role of ai model as a python tutor so first we need to start with this particular thing so you are an expert python tutor he explains so and so topic so the ai model will treat it as an a python tutor and it will generate the output for our instruction and the second one is a task or instruction so clearly we need to describe what we require so explain how loop works in python example and the input or a data which is an optional so input means so it provides the data or the text the model need to process so simply we can say who are the audience for whom we are getting the output so here the example see students already understand variables and a conditional statements so in order to explain loops in python we are giving the input as okay i need to get, explain the same thing for the students who already understood these variables and conditional statements so according to that the output will be generated and the output format in which output in which type we need we require whether it will be in a paragraph or with a points or with a comparison table etc so uh, description for this output uh, format tell how you want the response to look see i i need this uh, loops concept in a bullet points with examples and then the constraints and the style so what are the constraints you require okay so limit the paragraph or limit the points so everything comes under the constraints so had limits or a tone example word limit formality or simplicity and use a simple language for the beginners example and example you can also give some example so that based upon that example the output will be generated in the same pattern so this is also an optional so you can give or you may not give okay so here the input the targeted audience as well as the example both are optional thing so you can see the description show the model what kind of answer you are expecting so based upon this example it will analyze and the output will be generated in the same pattern an example explain recursion using a factorial example so this is an example we are giving 
okay see a prompt formula finally a prompt formula will be so combining all these things role task input output constraints and example so the same thing here role or context plus task or goal plus input plus output format plus constraints plus example so we need to combine all these things which gives a well structured prompt example let us say let us take unstructured prompt c explain loops in c so this is a just instruction okay this is a just instruction i am giving the same thing to uh, this one model so we can get a lot of content okay what is a loop uh, types of loops some syntax example also like that it will follow some sort of uh, uh, theme and uh, will get the complete information about that okay here we are not giving any example here we are not giving any targeted audience here we are not giving any role and here also we are not giving any constraints but if you optimize this one with a well structured prompt see i am giving role you are a c program uh, c programming instructor explaining basic concepts of first year engineering students and task explain loops in c programming with syntax and examples input so students already understand variables and conditional statements output format define explain each type show one example uh, one simple code example for any one loop and constraints keep it short and beginner friendly so within around 150 words so if the prompt is optimized in this way so this is a, this the complete thing is a prompt okay role task input output constraints i am not giving any example here because it's an uh, uh, optional so for this particular uh, prompt so i'll be getting in a very simple way for example you can see here so there is no syntax so it, the syntax is in this way okay so example is in this way but now in the prompt we are saying explain loops in c programming with syntax and example students already understand variables and conditional statements and explaining basic concepts to first year engineering students so from the scratch we need to give uh, information for the first year so see theoretical types loop, types of loops in c for loop syntax while loop do while okay and then a uh, small example and also very simple short and simple so that we have given in the constraint see keep it short and a beginner friend so automatically the content will be based upon your prompt so we'll take one more example and we'll close see go, go with the one more example see role uh, you are a high school science teacher and explain the concept of photosynthesis to ninth grade students and constraints use a clear age appropriate language because these are the school students okay the words and the uh, vocabulary should be simple so age appropriate language include a real world analogy and keep it under 100 words in the output format the topic and the explanation okay i need the uh, uh, the explanation in this format see i'm just copying this one and we can give it to the model and we can check what we are expecting see output format topic explanation so in the same way we are getting topic explanation so the explanation should be in a hundred words obviously the explanation is in hundred words and use a clear and age appropriate language simple language is a process which green plants make their own food using sunlight water and carbon dioxide and also uh, include a real world analogy so here it is uh, see glucose oxygen and a plant version of cooking sunlight is the stove and the raw materials are the ingredients so it was explaining the concept using the real world analogy okay so this is how we can get the optimized output based upon the well structured prompt so once again i'm repeating the prompt is completely different with a well structured prompt so why we are using these well structured prompts means the comparison between unstructured and a structured audience so that was not defined in the unstructured so based upon the audience itself we are getting the output so we can give the targeted audience in the structured prompt 
and the coverage so there is no limitation for the unstructured so it is incomplete and structured here we are specifying to whom we are getting giving the answer and example so it is a we are not giving any any kind of example how we required it so here we can give the example how we are expecting the output and the clarity definitely the constraints and the clarity it's a medium and it's very clear in unstructured and also practicality is low very low in unstructured and high in the structure so always it's better to use this uh, well structured prompts to avoid the multiple trail end errors in order to get the output right so hope you understood this well structured prompts so which combines all the types of prompts so far which we have learned right yes so let's stop here and uh, uh, hope you enjoyed the session if you really understood the session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much